Hello, good morning all. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we are going to continue the ex uh, second theorem of welfare, second fundamental theorem of welfare economics in the perspective of an exchange economy. So this is actually in continuation with the fifth lecture. This is, this is the sixth lecture, which is uh, now going to deal with the, uh, the aspect and uh, we see that over how it is going to work in the exchange economy. Okay, now we have already uh, saw the setting earlier, but still uh, as a, uh, you know, derivation, how we can basically have this thing is can be discussed. So in the exchange economy, you have actually UR, which is equal to XR 1 by 2 and x by. So that means the total market is being divided between two individuals, all right? Or you can, or of R is there and you have J, Jth individual, which they have actually a division of uh, the other kind of uh, 1 by uh, 2 and uh, the 3 by 4 as well as 1 by 4, all kinds of uh, uh, different, uh, um, you know uh, divisions which you can you, you can have xr plus xj and yr plus yj so maybe 10 and 20 then you have make a contract curve of a margin rate of substitution which is equal to margin rate of substitution of r and j uh, and uh, you can have uh, an xj which is equal to 10 xr and uh, y, uh, yj which is 10 minus yr so yr is equal to 30 xr by Phi x plus uh, sorry phi plus xr so when you have all this equation in mind then general equilibrium of uh, r that is maybe romeo initial interval which is actually xr and uh, yr which is equal to 512 where you have a general equilibrium allocation must be on contract curve and supported by uh, prices such that you have bc that is you, you know you have uh, um, uh, passing through 512 uh, is also tangentiate to both uh, consumer that is uh, IC uh, at the point uh, of intersection with the CC. So we will come to that in a while. So this is what is actually I was uh, talking about. So you have a BC slope uh, and uh, you have uh, um, yeah you have a slope and you have uh, an endowment and this endowment is already given see this is actually a contract curve of uh, different one J Romeo and Juliet's uh, uh, you know yeah, contract curve right and in that contract you can have actually an endowment curve and that endowment uh, redistribution uh, here is actually an endowment if you redistribute love each other then you will become any of this point all right now you can decide which point you can pick up now both the parties have uh, independently different uh, utility functions uh, but uh, if it is actually an interactive game of love kind of thing you know you have to make it and uh, then you will be reaching to different uh, you know possible utility which is called the collective utility in that sense so that is uh, different to that of the improvement of uh, a, a lower level endowment like uh, 512 versus you know the other uh, endowment is basically you know for the other individual to be different some other thing all right now uh, you the ideal endowment is actually you can move from that point to the other one redistribution that is love redistributes your utility function in that sense so now you end up with the uh, six point uh, uh, 8 and 14 earlier you had only 12 and uh, maybe less than that 5 all right now you have actually higher where uh, you know the other person is actually losing like uh, 3.2 3 and uh, 14 see uh, so the kind of uh, gain which the person gets is also very very important you know by the mechanism of love in that sense. So from the production possibility frontier to the utility possibility frontier, you can see this thing. But before that, uh, let me actually uh, give a little clarification uh, by this thing. See, this is what was actually we said, you know, in that context, you have different utility of Romeo and Juliet. 
and then you have contract cost of a different thing which is margin rate of substitution of Romeo and margin rate of substitution of Juliet it is given then you have different uh, uh, calculations you can make this is one calculation which I started with uh, no 1020 you can have different uh, numbers which you can attribute and uh, derive your own uh, you know conclusion in that sense so if not the two consumer plans do not result in market clearing potential general equilibrium allocations are XRYR so that is we have already seen that XRYR see XRYR is this one uh, uh, and the other one uh, that is what is actually you have an endowment point this is outside your you know this interactive point uh, but uh, Potential GR XRY and XR30 XR by uh, 5 plus XR. All right. So slope of indifference curves at XR uh, 30 XR by uh, 5 uh, 5 plus XR uh, is actually the slope which we have already seen in the previous one. See where is that? Yeah, here. So we have already seen this, and then uh, you have also a slope of 30 by 5 plus xr star that is passes through the initial allocation of xry so you have a 512 that is what you have a 512 case and it is passes through your bc you know that uh, slope uh, now if you have that then where is the other thing yeah if you have that then your initial allocation and your current allocation is two different point altogether right so the general allocation of xr star and yr star intersection of bc and uh, cc uh, then you you will be having a new equilibrium which is actually 14 bar 4.375 which is equal to 3.2 so this is what is actually the newer kind of an equilibrium in that sense so from the production possibility frontier to the utility possibility frontier we can have this thing so you have uh, a panel of the curve and you have also b panel of the curve you know how this is possible you have a margin rate of technical substitution with that of the margin rate of substitution and then you have points and then origin other case you can have actually uh, margin rate of uh, substitution with that of margin rate of technical substitution uh, of different points like A is one point, B is one point, C is another point, D is another point so you can have different points. Now if you take that point solely then you will have this kind of a utility because it's not necessarily well behaved because this is for different individuals alright. Now if you have two individuals then you can have at least two A and B you can have in different uh, individuals so uh, if it is a social uh, social so uh, uh, production possibility uh, sorry utility possibility frontier of the society then uh, you can have actually more than one two individuals then a b c d e f uh, can be actually different kinds of uh, uh, possibility frontiers now if that is the thing not necessarily this is all going to be well behaved because everybody is having their own curves right distributive portions in that sense okay so once you have this thing then uh, once you have this thing then we must be having a sort of an equilibrium so in that sense in the beginning we said that you know in the production possibility frontier or sorry in the utility for possibility frontier you have many number of uh, Pareto efficient case See, remember this one you have different kinds of this observation there are typically many Pareto efficient allocation and every Pareto efficient allocation is also a competitive equilibrium so you look at this this graph you know or this graph you have actually different uh, competitive equilibrium points you have a A which is also a competitive equilibrium B is also a competitive equilibrium is also a Pareto efficient point B is also a Pareto efficient point C is also a Pareto efficient and so the D so once you have all this different efficiency point of view as we said you know you can't simply say that uh, a, you have to choose only one place you can have any other so this redistribution is possible how do we do the redistribution there should be some sort of an intervention why did we observe unique uh, competitive equilibrium in our partial equilibrium analysis is also very important in this point so uh, that is why my story of uh, 
uh, you know uh, redistribution of Rawlsian or uh, Gandhian kind is also very very important especially when we de deal with this now uh, with this uh, let me uh, wrap the thing and the next lecture I will talk about the equilibrium analysis of all rows to Iroda Blue and Subcritic okay so not today to, I'll, I'll just move towards uh, the equilibrium condition of all rows later so with this uh, let me conclude my lecture thank you so much for watching and